Hey guys, are you confused about the difference between registered and certified mail? Not sure when to choose one over the other? Well, you're in the right place because today we're going to break it all down for you. Let's dive in. So, registered mail is like the VIP of postal services. It's all about providing top-notch security and accountability for those precious and sensitive items. According to the USPS, this service is primarily used for mailing items of significant value. Think expensive items such as antiques and jewelry. You can send items up to $25,000 in value per package using registered mail. So what are the key features of this option? Firstly, the chain of custody is closely monitored. Everyone who handles the item must sign for it, ensuring accountability at each stage. Also, recipients have to sign for registered mail. This offers undeniable proof of delivery, which is very helpful for legal or contractual purposes. Registered mail is also handled by a select group of postal workers. They will have all had background checks and be authorized to handle high-value items. Finally, registered mail includes insurance coverage and full detailed tracking throughout the shipment. Sending registered mail is a bit different as you'll need to visit the post office. Registered mail barcode label 200 is required. Okay, so what is certified mail and how does it differ? Certified mail is like a reliable sidekick for your everyday postal needs. It provides proof of mailing and delivery for items of lesser value or importance. You will receive a receipt at the time of mailing, acting as evidence that the item was sent on a specific date. Just like registered mail, certified mail also offers tracking capabilities. Certified mail also offers an option to add a return receipt. This means the recipient signs for the item upon delivery. Commonly, certified mail is used in legal settings to demonstrate that a document was mailed and received within a specific time frame. And while it provides a level of security, it's not as secure as registered mail. To send USPS certified mail, you can visit the post office or generate the relevant mail label online. You can print Form 3800 and affix it to your certified parcels yourself. However, for evidence of mailing, you will need to post at a service counter. But what is the difference in cost, I hear you ask? Well, registered mail's cost is determined by the declared value of your shipment. At the current time, rates start at 1525s for domestic shipments. USPS certified mail requires a fee of 375, which is in addition to the postage for your item. If you want to include a return receipt, it'll cost you an extra $305 for a physical receipt or $1.85 for an electronic one. All said and done, the choice between registered mail and certified mail depends on your item and specific needs. But in a nutshell, choose registered mail for high-value items, strict security, and accountability. Opt for certified mail for important documents that need proof of mailing and delivery. It serves as a cost-effective option for an official record. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more of the same. See you in the next one.